G'day, this is Lucia. Welcome to my art channel. In today's video, I'm going to do just a simple bloom because I haven't done one for a little while. And I'm going to be using an 8 inch, 20 centimeter round stretch canvas. And what I'm also going to use is, apart from the uh, pillow paint, British paints, uh, uh, white, I am going to add a faux pillow color in this uh, beautiful <laughs> mix of purple paints that I've just thrown in together. I had a whole heap of purple paints that I just wanted to get rid of. So I just mixed them all up, different brands, different colours, different shades, and I just threw them all in there together and made this pretty colour. So that's my faux pillow. <clears throat> the colours I'm going to use are uh, Vivid Intense, uh, Colour Art Vivid Intense Cobalt Aqua. Isn't that gorgeous? And Prism Pour, <coughs> Colour Art Prism Pour Northern Sky. Eye Candy, oops, stuck. <laughs> Eye Candy Kim Gold. Paper Mill Iridescent Fuchsia. And last but not least, Pebio Red Blue Iridescent. They're all beautiful colours, all nice and shiny colours. I'm not sure what cell activator I'm going to use at this point. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use my Payne's Grey, my black or my white. I haven't decided. So I will decide that as I go along. So here goes. Just Missed a little bit there, but that's okay. Won't matter because if I spin it, it'll spin out anyway. Just pop those there for the moment. All right, I like that. It's giving it some little ghosty effects with the um, the swipe, the one color swipe. I just let that sink in a bit. It won't matter too much if it doesn't go all the way through because it will spread, obviously. Now. Um, should I spin it before I put the colours on there? No, I won't. All right, here goes. Oh, 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 
I think I probably should have blown it out with my mouth because I kind of damaged it a little bit here. Uh, didn't do a very good job there at all. But anyway, like I said, I'm out of practice, so maybe I'll need to do two of them today. But this is my first. So I'll just get these out of the way so I can spin it. Okay. Loving the colours. These are really pretty. Just move it up a little bit and we'll see what I can create. I'm loving the colours. There's lots of cute little bubbles and, of course, the purple in the back looks fantastic, the little bits that you can see. Yeah, not good there because that's where I hit the pillow. Kind of killed it, but not bad, and I like the colour combo. So that's, that's good. What I might just do is just to... with a little bit of character there. All right, I think I'll bring you down. I think that's it. I think there's all the paint that's going to come off. And I'll bring you down. Give you a looky. And then if we've got some time, which we might have, because that was only a quick one really, we might do another one. There you go. Let's give it a little torch. I'll bring you down. Okay, here's a close-up. I love those bub those purple little bubbles at the back there. The cells, little ghosty cells there. And those colours are so vibrant and shimmery. Wow, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That King Gold is just from Eye Candy is absolutely gorgeous. And those colour arts are so intense. But even the paper mill iridescent fuchsia and that pebio, full, oh, they're just beautiful. Yeah, I'm liking that. 
I'm certainly liking the colours and the shimmer. I think the composition could be better. I don't think uh, I blew it out too well there. I've kind of, you can see the little white bit there that I hit the pillow. But I'm liking it. What do you think? Love to hear what your uh, comments are. And I might go now and try something else. Do you know, I realised I didn't have my lights on when I was painting, so you might have seen this a little bit darker. But you did see the, um, the close-up. So I'll just move that out of the way now, and I will go back to do a second one. Now, I'm not sure whether I'll do a bloom. I should probably keep practising my blooms. But I don't know whether I want to do a bloom or a swipe. Should I do another bloom? Maybe I'll do another bloom instead of a swipe. Let's see if I can get this straight. I'll do another bloom, and this time I will blow it out rather than use the, the um, mini blower. I'll blow it out with my mouth. And I haven't got much of this left. Ooh. I wonder if I'm going to have enough. I don't think I am. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm going to have enough. Pour a little bit of this. Okay, I'll just move this around a little bit and then I'll pour some more on it because I'm not sure whether that's quite enough. I'm not used to um, doing blooms. <laughs> So I've forgotten how much paint to put on there. I'll just move that around because before it wasn't really going over the edge like I was hoping it would. So now it's kind of fine. I'll just put a little bit more in the centre just to give it a bit of a float. Whoops, probably a little too much. Just a little bit of a floater, I think. Not much of a floater, but just a little bit. There you go, that's better. Alrighty, now I'm going to do the same thing as what I did before. I'm going to, instead of doing a white over with the faux pillow, I'm going to do the Payne's Grey. Do it the other way around. Do the Payne's Grey underneath. And <clears throat> purple over the top. Whoops. I'd have to pour some in there, wouldn't it? Purple over the top, which doesn't really matter because it's just. All right. Wish me luck, guys. Okay. That looks cool, doesn't it? Oh, look at those. Um, ghosty cells, they're gorgeous. I like ghosty cells. All right. Same colours as before.
let that settle a little bit. Ooh. <clears throat> That's looking very pretty already. I could uh, wait, or if I'm impatient, like I am, because I'm very impatient anyway. Okay, she's not wanting to come up. She is a bit thick. It is winter here, so it does tend to thicken up. So I might just let it sit for a little while. I'm liking that anyway so I'm going to wow that's really pretty I'm going to move these and I'll probably just scrape up that paint a bit with this one just pop that down there and I'll just yeah, let's oh see because I tilted it I think I've got it all over my clothes as well it moved a little bit off centre, so I'm just going to move it back this way. Mm -hmm. Just going to move it a little bit off centre. Mm -hmm. bits I think they're gorgeous and I love those colors together yeah the only bits I'm not sure is that it didn't sink in the white didn't sink in like I was hoping it would and even though I was impatient and blew it it still didn't didn't come up with the cells like I was hoping it would Just give that a bit of a wipe underneath Wow, that gold. Whew. Look about strong. I don't like that bit there. It's very wishy washy, isn't it? I think I might have blown into the pillow there. Yeah, I think I need some practice. I'll have to do blooms for a little while and um, get back into it. I was just starting to succeed with blooms and then I gave it a break. <laughs> now I need to. They say it's like riding a bike. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I'm out of, we're out of whack, so I'm needing to practice some more, I think. But I'll bring you down and you can tell me what you think. Okay, here's a close-up or a flyover. A 
love those cells there. They're gorgeous. Oh, I really like those cells. Colors are beautiful. But they're a little bit more wishy-washy than what they were in the other one. That gold is wow. Really did overtake it. And there's lots of shimmer in that. But I love, I really love those ghosties. The purple ghosties there and a bit white there. Even more white there. I like that. Pretty cool. All right. I've let it sit there for a while and I'm liking this one. I'm still, actually, I really like this one better than the other one. And I'll show you the reason why. Um, the centre is really gone weird. What I do like about it is that the white has actually absorbed the other colours in the centre. So now it's gold and red in the centre as opposed to that big white stripe that was there before. Uh, but it's kind of wishy-washy in those areas, which might have been where I hit the pillow anyway. And I love the background on that, but I don't really like the actual flower. Something I don't like about that. And I think it's that centre that really is throwing me. I like the idea of the white taking up the colours, absorbing the colours as it has, so that looks good. But I'm not loving the way the centre turned out. Maybe I should have just left it and not blown it with a straw. And like I said, I don't like those two ends, especially that one. And that one's not so bad, but this one's worse. I don't like that bit. But I love the background on that. So I might have to do that one again. But I like this one better as far as composition and flower like. The only thing I don't like about that is that I hit the pillow in the centre there and had to take away some of those cells. But all in all, for a first time go after so many weeks without doing it, I'm happy with what I've got. So I'll just have to keep practising like we do with everything. If you enjoyed my video, please like, comment, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when the next video is uploaded. I hope you like the blooms. Until next time, take care. Bye.